Hi, this is How to Play Somewhere Only We Know, uh, the Lily Allen version, part four. Um, we've so far done all of the components necessary to play the basic introduction, um, but uh, there are a few little nuances that we haven't added to complete it, make it exactly like the original. So, um, so it's quite exciting. Now we're going to do those, add those little touches to make it sound just like the original. So. Um, if you'd like to move in to my uh, hands. Um, right, so, so far we have, um, we have this, uh, this for the first chord, so. Now that's what you would have learned in the previous part. However, actually on the record there's a slight change, a slight dif dif difference. Um, when I say record, of course, I mean probably MP3 in, in, in your case, but um, the, uh, Basically, um, it's quite simple. At the beginning, instead of going middle, thumb, top two fingers, thumb, the beginning of the song goes um, top two fingers here. So little and middle here. At the beginning. So you go, instead of going middle, thumb, top two fingers, thumb, you go top two fingers, thumb, top two fingers, thumb. After that, the rest of the chord is exactly as you've already learnt it. So instead of going, it actually goes, just for the first chord, it goes and then just is exactly the same as you've already learned it after that. So it's twice of the top two, so it's top two thumb, top two thumbs, so it's once through of that, and then it just goes just three times exactly as you've already learned it. So okay, so with the bass, here and here, as, as you learned in the previous part, it goes, and I put the pedal down as well, so it's, um, okay, so. Okay, that's exactly what, as far as I can hear, that's exactly what he's doing on the original, okay? Second chord, um, I think, is exactly as you've already learnt it, no changes, uh, so. Okay, exactly as you've already learnt it. Um, third chord, we're gonna go to C, there's one little complication here. Now, basically, the first um, round is exactly as you've already learnt it, so, um, yeah. That's exactly as you've learnt it. But the second time round, there's one extra thing. There is an extra note in the left hand here. So you've played little finger, thumb, but then on the second time round, on the third uh, beat, you're gonna play the middle note of the C minor chord, okay? One little extra note. So it's gonna go bum, bum, bum. So it's gonna go, uh, so the first time round, it goes, uh, pedals down as well, so. And the second time round, you go, and then you add, on these top two, you add that middle note there. So I'll do, actually let's just work on the second time round, not the first time. Second time the C minor chord, it goes middle, thumb, you're putting that uh, E flat on the, on the third beat. So it's just on that third beat, nothing on the first beat. So it's like that, okay? So if you get that perfect, okay. Um, now let's do both those to first and the second time around on the C minor chord, so it goes. Whoops, sorry, it goes. I actually think that's quite tricky. So let's try that a few times. So it's, as you're expecting first time around, I do it nice and slow. And then, dun, dun, E flat. Okay, so it's. Then, E flat on the left hand, and then it's the same for the last two times, okay? So it's E flat, then twice more, okay? Just play that loads and loads and loads really slowly, really carefully, rewind the video, play it over with me. It, these little nuances make it quite hard. Uh, but I think once you've got the previous three parts of this video really, really, really sorted, these little nuances, if, if you've got the rest of the song, as, as you learnt it in the first three parts, absolutely automatic, so that you're not even thinking about it, and then your fingers are just doing it, and you're making no errors, adding these extra components will be easy, because you won't even be thinking about the rest of the song, all you need to think about is adding the extra component. So, um, basically, uh, let's do that once more, so it's... Um, then twice more. I'll play that at speed, so it's, um, that's that one sorted, okay. Now the last one, there's a slight, there's a bit of a major complication with this extra chord which I haven't shown you yet. Um, basically, 
let's play an F. You'll be, you're going to be playing an F middle finger version, but I'm now going to play, just to show you what's actually happening here, I'm going to play you an F thumb inversion. Okay, now basically a suspended fourth chord, you take the middle, in, in a chord you would call that note one, note three, and note five, because it's the first note of an F scale, third note of an F scale, fifth note of an F scale, so you call it one, three, five, and it's called a suspended fourth chord, because you because you take the third, and you move it up, in this case, it's an, as, as, as you remember, B is always flat in this song, so you move it up to a B flat. So that is a suspended fourth, and it's usually resolved back to the normal chord afterwards, so it looks like that and then it's resolved to the normal chord afterwards, okay? Now, in this song, we're doing a middle finger inversion, so with an F, so it looks like that. So, of course, now, this is gonna be at the top um, to do a suspended fourth. You're gonna go up there, and then you're gonna resolve down afterwards. This is complicated, okay? So, um, the left hand's really easy here. That's the one redeeming factor, okay? So, um, I'm just gonna do the right hand on its own. Basically, you, instead of going to this middle finger version F that we, we've been doing so far, you're actually gonna have to go to a, 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 an F suspended fourth, which means putting this note in instead to start off with, and you're gonna resolve it in a moment. Now, I do a suspended fourth with, I switch fingers, I have, I personally use the index finger for the F so that I can easily get that little finger over to there, so that, is the F suspended fourth. And it's actually gonna go, just like at the beginning of the song, it's not middle thumb, it's gonna be uh, both the top two together. So it's gonna go, and in fact, you do that twice round. So it goes like that. And that's what you're gonna do for this half of the bar. This is actually half a bar each. So you do two rounds on F sus four and then two rounds on F. So if you're two rounds in SS4, it's, for, it's quite simple actually once you found the chord because you're just doing uh, the the top two notes and then thumb, top two notes and thumb, and you do it twice around. So it's it's quite simple really actually. It's simpler than the than this actually. So it's just top two thumb, top two thumb, top two thumb, top two thumb. Okay. And the only left hand thing you need to know is you put an F in at the beginning on the left, can, can you see that, that F over there on the other side? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so you go, um, and that's all you need to know. That's for the first, for this F, sus4, so it's just that. Okay, and then the, the introduction is finished by going to the middle finger F, and you literally just go, whoops. So you're, going, you're playing that middle finger F that you've already learned, um, but you, you go, you go, you kind of, Glissando, I can't remember what you call it, it's not a glissando, I can't remember what you call it, but um, you, you, you're doing them one after the other like that. That's quite hard at first, possibly, but just practice going dun 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 and then get faster. It's kind of like something like that. And you slow down as well during this bit, so it's um, like that, okay? So, um, yeah, so. It, that's the uh, the last the last section. Okay, uh, the difficult th thing is going to be getting from a C minor. So I would practice quite a lot going C minor, and then going to there. It's a big jump. The, the the thumb stays where it is, so it's there to there. Just keep practicing that. Practice that with me. So you've got uh, C E flat and G, and then you're reaching out C F and B flat. Practice that with me, nice and slow. Then C F and B flat. So C, E, and G to C, F, and B flat. C, E, and G to C, F, and B flat. C, E, and G to C, F, and B flat. C, E, and G to C, F, and B flat. And that's the jump you've got to make. So you're going to go... Um, and then... Um, and that's all of it. That's every, as far as I could hear, I just had a quick, I only listened to this today, um, but I, I, um, I, as far as I could hear, that's everything that he's do, he or she is doing um, in the introduction. So if you do everything I've said in these four parts, you're playing the introduction note for note, as far as I can hear, exactly the same as the original. And if you work really hard at it, um, it should sound pretty much exactly like it. If you get add a little bit of feeling to it, you know? So, um, yeah, so basically, uh, work through all of those parts um, really methodically, 
consolidate each... I know I keep saying this, but it's so important to learning music. The big difference between professional musicians, from my perspective, and people who aren't professionals, is usually the professionals work on making sure that each component is perfect and they don't practice mistakes. So, so they don't make mistakes and then keep making mistakes. They carefully go through each component and make sure that right from the start, they're getting it accurate because they understand that when they make mistakes, they start learning the mistakes and you've only got to unlearn them afterwards. Um, so um, just really go through each part carefully. Don't try and rush to the next part. If you go through all four of these parts carefully and consolidate each part, get it really good, get it absolutely automatic or somewhere near automatic before you move to this next part, then you will learn, you should be able to learn right from, a, even if you're a beginner, I think you should be able to learn right through from, from scratch, go through these parts and get this song finished almost exactly if not exactly as, as, as the um, original recording, which is just a, a wonderful thing, I think, when you're playing a music, musical instrument, if you can get it to sound exactly like the song that you're actually listening to. Um, so that's the end of part four. Um, we've done the whole instruction perfect, uh, to exactly note for note as the original now. So um, what I'm actually gonna do is, we, is I'm gonna um, post all these four parts up. Um, if we get enough views, um, in the next week or so, I will do uh, the verse um, next week, maybe, or maybe the, the verse and the bridge, because I think the verse is pretty similar to the introduction. Um, and we'll keep just posting up more of the song. So that if you if you want to work through all the all the parts, you can get it absolutely perfect from beginning to end. But it really depends on you guys. Uh, if you can generate some traffic, that'd be great. Uh, if I see people are interested, um, Callum and I will uh, put together the next next part of the. Um, tutorial and I'd really love to just get this whole song uh, a really good tutorial I know it's long but if you want to play something really well you've got to you've got to put some work into it you know so uh, I'd love to get the whole thing up uh, the whole song up and play you know teaching you to play it exactly like the original and there's no reason why you can't learn to do it um, so please do post uh, tell other people about this post comments likes if you like it um, and if we get enough uh, exposure, then I'll, I'll, we'll, we'll, we'll work on putting the next part up, uh, hopefully in, maybe in a week or so. So, um, yeah, good luck with it. And do let me know and ask any, how it goes and ask any questions if you have any questions.